Hi oh, guys, welcome back. Um, in this video is literally just a compilation video of some rabbit and fox shooting trips over the past few months. Um, you will notice a couple of the fox clips are from my last video, but like I say, it is a compilation video, so it'll be going back a few months as well. Got footage from the Alpex Day and Night Scope, the SQ50 Pro Thermal Rifle Scope, also from the um, Panther. LRF thermal rifle scope, but just remember the clips from that, there's no audio because that particular model, which was the base one, doesn't record sound. Some footage from the ATN 4K Pro 3 to 14, and a couple of clips from the Pulsar C50. Now, I literally just decided to put this together because I probably won't be uploading um, any more shooting videos for about three to four weeks. Got other things planned, also getting out in the field when the weather allows it as well. So it'll be a little while before. Um, I'll upload another shooting video, but I am going to be doing another video in the next sort of few days regarding the firmware update on the SQ50 thermal scope. So I've done that. I shall let you guys know um, what I think of that. So it'll be in the next few days. <clears throat> but I've got so much more action coming this year. Going to be doing more footage around the farmyard using the BSA R10 Mark II, the sub 12 foot pound air rifle. Going to get some more footage with that. Um, I've picked up a Daystate Air Ranger, which is 32 foot pound in 22 caliber, and obviously more with the Rimfire, the 223. Some more shotgun shooting, roosting, and hopefully when they get some crop put in as well, um, be doing some decoy shooting. Not to mention some more long range shooting with the 223. Um, also, going to be using the Wolf Hurricane scope on that, as well as my own uh, Hawk scope. There's plenty more to come, plenty more. Not only that, Clint's going to be out and about with his 22LR with the ATM on top. I think this is the 5 to 20 model. Um, he's going to be sending me the footage because he hasn't got um, a YouTube channel. So he's going to send me the footage and I'll be uploading it on his behalf. We're going to be doing more videos together, which I can't wait to do. There's just so much coming up. There really is so much coming up. Not to mention like uh, other reviews that I'll be doing later on, which brings me to this which I mentioned in the last video, which is the Hick Micro Cheetah. This is a day and night scope with a built-in illuminator and LRF. I'm literally just waiting for them to send me the rail down um, so I can then mount it on the 22LR. Uh, might have a go with the 223, but it's gonna be mainly for the rabbits. So very much looking forward to that. I'm gonna be out and about in the field, putting it through its paces before I do any sort of review with it. Get some good footage with it, hopefully. Um, and then I'll be showing you guys that first. Um, I've already had uh, a couple of people say that they're looking forward to um, seeing some footage with this and what I think about it because they're thinking of getting one, which is great. Um, I'm also going to be doing some footage with this. This is my Sightmark Wraith. This is the um, 4K Max scope. Um, I actually had one of these quite some time ago, but I never actually did any videos with it because it was at the time when the Pulsar C50 cam was coming out. So sold this, bought the Pulsar C50, but I've actually picked up a, a pre-owned one of these now. So not quite sure which rifle I'm going to put it on yet, but there will be footage coming from that. I was also sent out a um, day scope with a rear add-on, day and night rear add-on from a company called One Leaf. To be honest, I'd never even heard of them before. Um, but they contacted me asking if I could do a product review on this particular uh, scope and rear add-on. Basically it looks exactly the same as a PAR 007. So yeah, there's going to be videos coming up with that as well. So there's so much in the pipeline guys um, for this year. I hope you stick around and uh, um, enjoy the videos and obviously leave the comments like you always do. Which is very much appreciated. Um, I'm also going to do another video where um, I'm going to literally just show you all of my gear that I use, um, my shooting outfit. I get asked a lot what ammo do I use and this, that and the other. So I thought what I'll do is I'll do a video with the rifles and everything, just literally show you guys everything that I use, what I've got. Hopefully that will answer a lot of questions. Um, I appreciate there's new subscribers and you know they always ask these questions. So I just thought I'd do a video with that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like I say, um, when it comes to other footage as well, like I say, Clint's going to be sending me footage from his ATN. I know a lot of you guys have got a lot of the scopes and that that I use and test and all the rest of it, but haven't got any way of uploading them. So what's going to suggest is if you want me to show you your footage, please get in touch. I've got email address on my channel. Just get in touch with me. We'll be able to sort something out. 
upload on your behalf, that'd be great. It'd be nice to see what other people were getting up to, especially like with the rats. The permissions that I've got, there's basically no rats on the farms. They must be the cleanest farms in the country, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, but yeah, if you've got any sort of footage that you'd like to share with everyone else, then get in touch with me and I'm sure we can sort something out. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Like I say, there's so much coming up. Um, I hope you guys will stick around. But for now, enjoy this video. Leave your comments as usual. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.